Rahman Rahim. I am recording this my video clip to congratulate our students, those who have recently graduated in Diploma in Business Management and Diploma in Health and Social Care. Just today only, this morning, we were able to receive their diplomas came from UK, well-authenticated diplomas. I'm going to do the opening here in front of you to show you. But before that, I would like to convey my message. Uh, well, many of us, we are here abroad from past four years, five years, and some of us even more than 10 years here abroad. What significant achievement we able to come achieve? What are the things that we able to complete or obtain in these past four years or five years or even 10 years? This is a, this is a question which every one of us must ask to ourselves. And if you realized that we're really not able to do something distinguished, we're not able to achieve something, something amazing in our life, we're not able to do something significant. So then we need to take a step. We need to, we need to do something from now on. There was a survey conducted way back about the most common habits of the most successful people in the world. And in that survey, they try to find out, they try to research, what are these most common things in the most successful people in the world? So that could be utilized or applied by other people. So they may be also successful. So they try to conduct the several interviews of different CEOs and the president of the different companies, the big, big companies. And after the result of this survey or the research, they find out there are certain common habits in these people which can be applied by other peoples and they can be also the, the successful as them. And one of that it is these most successful people they have, they drive their life, they live their daily day and night with some ambition, mission, plan, target, goal, which all of us mostly, mostly all of us, we are missing these things in our life. Let's try to ask to ourselves, let's try to ask ourselves, what is the goal of my life? And what I have able to achieve it so far. If we are here abroad from past four years, five years or 10 years in this span of five or six or 10 years time, what I able to achieve? If I'm not able to achieve something, something distinguished, then I need to get worried because in another five years also there will be no change. Okay. So the planning is very important. The second thing they found that these most successful people in the world, they, they are very active. They are very active in everything they do. And you know what? They do not work just eight hours. They don't care about number of hours. They don't care about what time. They don't care about it is their time now to go back. It's their time. I mean, their duty hours finish and all. No, because they have mission, you know, they have, they have target, they have goal. And if they're able to achieve it for the goal of the day, that's, that's it is. Then that's how it is. So they love the job that they do. They do. If you will love the job that you're doing it, believe me, believe me, you will be the most successful people, person. You will be the most successful person in the, into that your job or into that your field and you can become you can become the necessity the need of your company by become the need or the necessity of your company by 
loving the job that we are doing by loving the job that we are doing when you love something you will be able to show all of your talent your expertise your skills into that job you know that the mostly the people those who remain into the jobs or into the work that they are doing from past 5 or 6 years these are the people those who work for duty hours that from 9 to 5 that's my duty hours my time is hours i go need to go home now no if you really wanted to be something then the job where you working the place where you working that should be your business that should be your business take it as it is my own and you will become part of that business you will become part of that family you will become part of that company become the need the company should get scared they should be scared of losing you and that that value that worth it is up to us how we create how much love we give to that work and believe me if you will apply this strategy inshallah every one of you will be succeeding all right here we go so i'm going to do the opening here in front of you guys alhamdulillah alhamdulillah by the grace of our god almighty indeed we cannot do with our own strength anything it is his blessing that we alhamdulillah able to achieve this one and indeed these diplomas these credentials will be very helpful for us so here we go the first diploma the first diploma here it is for miss lizel barka miss lizel barka miss miss lizel barka is from one of our student from oman so miss lizel here is your diploma which here miss lizel congratulations to you our our second the next graduate is miss alona miss alona she completed her study in diploma in business management diploma in business management here it is your diploma and here is the and third dedication of your diploma the apostle so miss alona is one of our student from cyprus congratulations to you miss alona and here we go one of our student from oman again miss luz miss miss luz here is your diploma in business management and it's got authenticated already certifications from the apostle service as well okay and if ever you guys needed any help for ves you know the world education service evaluation you can contact to us we will try to provide you some assistance into that one and especially for those who especially for those who are applying for canada australia or america they need ves uh, evaluation of their credentials so we can help you guys for that one and we do not charge any extra charges for this you need to pay only to the ves okay or to the awarding body that their fees i mean the government fees or 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 the uh, the awarding body's fees and all but well, for us we will not be charging you anything for that okay so here we go mr archie mr archie here is your diploma congratulations to you mr archie he is our student from saudi arabia and mashallah i admire this person um he have taken uh, various courses here with us and uh, although i mean he is working as a machine operator there in saudi arabia but i admire his determination his determination that he is continuing his study and he have a plan that when he go back for good in the philippines inshallah he going to put up some his own business and all and definitely this credential will be very helpful for him congratulations to you mr rt here we go so here is one of our student miss faith joy miss faith here is your diploma in business management your husband was here yesterday and i already told him that tomorrow your your wife's diploma will be arriving 
So congratulations to you and it is well authenticated from our postal as well and you can see here the uh, Kuwait Embassy stamp also it is there from Kuwait Embassy from London their stamp it is also I mean it is authenticated by Kuwait Embassy so some of the students have requested the dual authentication the postal as well as the embassy uh, attestation so here we go so the next one it is the diploma for Miss Jackie, Miss Jackie Abraham. Miss Jackie Abraham, congratulations to you. So here is your diploma in business management and it is also well authenticated. Miss, <coughs> Miss Jackie, she is from, uh, she lives in Jordan. So therefore the Jordan Embassy attestation is also over there aside from the Apostle Service Attestation. Congratulations to you, Miss Jackie. And the next one is Miss Janet. Yes, Miss Janet is from Jordan as well. So here you go, Miss Janet. Here's your diploma in Diploma in Business Management. And here is the authentication of your diploma. You can use it for whatever purpose you like to or whatever job that you're applying to okay and here are your here, here are the guys your uh, transcript of record for every one of you okay so they will be sending to every one of you through the uh, courier service as well those who are here in Kuwait you are most welcome to visit our office and you collect it you can collect it from there so once again guys thank you very much for your time and congratulations to every one of you so just to remind once more time that we have to have some aim in our life goal in our life okay spend our day and night accord uh, in in order to achieve that goal and plan it properly plan it properly and don't forget don't forget that we we can never ever have any success or any achievement without the help of God Almighty. Always remember God Almighty, ask him, pray to him that he make the things easier for us. And one of one of the best thing that I will advise you guys that try to contribute, try to contribute your assistance, your help to, to your colleagues or to your family members Remember, the person who always try to make the things easy in others' life, that person's life become more easier. And inshallah, if you will try to help other people, inshallah, God Almighty will open the assistance or His help's door for you widely and you will be get assisted. You will be get helped by the God Almighty, inshallah. Thank you very much, guys. Congratulations to you one more time.